Training is important because nobody's born with a requisite skill level. Nobody's a great driver, nobody's a great archer, nobody's a great golfer naturally. There's natural abilities that can feed into that and give certain people advantages. But um, you know, whether you're talented or not, you know, what's going to determine how much of your talent you can use is your discipline to develop your skills. It's your responsibility almost as an American uh, to, to be well-trained, well-crafted in, in, in your rights. We preach that you're your own first responder. So if anything ever happens, uh, you can't count on anybody else. You have to count on yourself. Owning and, and carrying and uh, using a firearm is probably one of the greatest responsibilities you know, a private citizen has. From a personal defensive perspective, we're providing knowledge, skills, fundamentals to citizens who want to protect themselves, protect some, their families, and have the right to carry a uh, firearm. So with that, carries great responsibility. We look at the average law enforcement person out there, they get their first year of training roughly between 40 to 80 hours of training when it comes to firearms. And then after that, they either do yearly or quarterly qualifications. In regards to a civilian, we think it's really important that they should follow a similar pattern. And in that first year of going to conceal carry, we recommend that they take two to three courses, at, you know, weekend courses throughout that first year, which will roughly equal about 40 hours. And then thereafter that, we recommend that people generally take a weekend course a year. And is what they'll have is they'll have sustainment and training to back up, you know, their records if anything happens and also to enhance their skills and improve each year.